Hello YouTube viewers welcome to my show Future Friday in today's episode we're going to talk about life high aka light fidelity so let's dive right into it well first you have to understand this our future is becoming more and more wireless we want wireless technology and the reason for that is because every tom dick and harry and their grandma and their child are using internet so we need data we are consuming data like there is no tomorrow so at this point in time wireless slowly becomes a must to think of it this way like uh, in my family there is like three mobile phones uh, is it practical to connect all these three mobile phones using ethernet not really so we have to go to wireless system on top of that even though every person and the number of people on this planet is not exploding anymore it's not like you know oh we went from 2 billion to 4, uh, 6 billion and we are going from 6 to 20 that's not happening anymore even then the amount of device that each individual is carrying is growing exponentially so what we are entering into is classified as internet of things or iot devices basically from your smart watch to your refrigerator to your light bulb to every uh, god knows every tom dick and harry thing is going into internet and all of those combine inherently in some in a scenario where you have like lot of device in a single household heck even in my basic household there is like you know two television that is connected to uh, ethernet and uh, one 4k set top box that is connected to ethernet one desktop that is connected to ethernet and three mobile phone so you get the idea like uh, and i'm reasonably sure most of you may have even more than this so we have to go to wireless otherwise uh, having server room in your room is not practical so why the heck we cannot use just use wifi i'm like we are using it why the heck was the issue with that well wifi has lot of uh, speed issues basically it's not very fast specifically if you are using 2.5 gigahertz 2.5 gigahertz is uh, basically give or take maximum capacity of 60 mbps and that's lucky case scenario that's like if everything is working properly uh, that's 60 mbps and uh, if you want like uh, there is a very good chance nowadays many people have speed connections that are faster than that heck uh, geo fiber is starting connection and speed is 100 mbps and it can go as high as 1 gigabyte per second so let's say i have connection speed of 250 mbps how the heck i'm going to get that in mobile phone i have to switch to uh, 5 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz does not allow you to go to gigabyte it only allows you to go as far as uh, 443 is something like that that is the maximum so that is the reality like the inherent backbone is not very fast then we come to insecurities because wifi is inherently you know goes everywhere so let's say i'm using wifi here what happens uh, behind this wall i do not know somebody maybe there like you know wifi snooper and things of that nature could be there so it's quote and quote unsecure on top of that it's uh, even though it's designed to handle multiple people we exceeded its ability basically it was designed to handle three or four devices we starting to like you know put 20 30 devices on top of that so uh, in a stadium even though they try to cover it with access point and do their best it inherently cannot keep up so we reach, reach we reach the maximum limit is like you know it simply cannot keep up anymore now so what is the idea of lifi lifi is basically somebody came up with the idea is like hmm we are using radio wave why not go from radio wave to basically optical system so that's the reality go from radio frequency to into visual spectrum and we are using leds anyway heck even cars uh, lights are finally starting to switch into leds at least for brake lights and all that and all luxury cars come with leds anyway so we are moving to led now why that is important think of this way could you do this with a bulb in very slow rate yes but you cannot do very, uh, very fast simply because bulb has filament filament takes time to heat up and uh, time to cool down so even if you to send signal to like you know 1000 giga uh, 1000 hertz of signal you know turning on and off on and off it will simply not do anything it will just look dim to you i mean like that's the fundamental uh, dimming circuit of pulse with modulation so you can't do much with that however led is inherently a semiconductor so it can be switched on and off very quickly heck you may have a tv something like this which has a basically optical audio output port that is doing the same thing so somebody came up with the idea instead of uh, you know we basically we have optical fiber network as a base bone of internet from 1970 how about we remove the fiber from it so that's the idea led can allow you to figure very fast and uh, okay LED is the cheap part. We got it. We really want to have something cheap. What about the receiver side? How the heck you gonna receive that signal? Thankfully, solar panel can also react quite quickly. So solar panel can actually receive those high frequency, and you can decode that in voltage fluctuations or in ampere output. You can like literally decode. Oh, uh, I'm getting you know this 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 this. this. So you can. Uh, easily extract the data so receiver and transmitter both of them can be made out of cheaply available things no extra hoo ha requires no radio required no where you have to like you know uh, like in one plus cases like they have to engineer a lot in order to create the antenna in such a way that they give you good reception 
so that's the reality of it like your, your lamp on top of it like in my case this lamp and the street lamps and all that jazz can be used light fidelity that's the reality of it so okay what will be the benefit of uh, you know going into uh, light system well first people will say is is very high throughput the uh, the pipe is very fat basically you can send a lot of data and uh, you know you can like the amount of throughput you can expect is much higher and it's almost like you know connecting to ethernet directly and it's going to be super fast again light light speed so to say and it's going to be 100% secure now that is very uh, you know desirable to many places specifically cor corporate environment or corporate espionage is a real thing it's a real threat like if you're going to sell uh, to a corporate it's like dude uh, install life and nobody can inst uh, inst basically uh, you know steal your secrets easily they'll be like shut up and take my money again even if it can be reached if it's 10 times harder they're like yeah that's that's fair enough because everything can be broken if you have enough time but again if life gives you one extra layers of protection you're like and then you want to have full coverage why because everything is slowly moving to led so your uh, street lamps are moving to leds your car lamps are moving to led everything can act as a transmitter and receiver so that's the whole idea and it's not dangerous because there is a hype around uh, our radio electromagnetic spectrum is that is dangerous well that's absolutely true if enough of it is present because again we use that to cook uh, our meals in microwave oven your, your mobile phone uses quote unquote the same spectrum only difference is it does not have the enough energy so that's the promise of it like we have light we are moving to led lights anyway why why not make the light work into you know double duty so to say now what happened with the reality this all started in 2011 with a professor and uh, in 2015 they were like you know we're gonna we are three to four years away from market production and all that jazz so what happened in reality in 2017 the first product that i could find so far was pure li-fi system came out and it was like hey connect it to your uh, led fixture and it's gonna become a transmitter and you're gonna have a, a receiver on here now again if you are familiar with the internet you understand it's receive and tra uh, basically dual bandwidth you cannot be just like you know receiving it's not a tv you have to transmit also so it will have a, a infrared uh, beacons quote unquote and that will uh, basically on rooftop you will also have a, another infrared system now this was in 2017 in 2017 if you had like any kind of decent money you could have easily got like i bought it and it was quite cheap i got like 5 gigahertz wi-fi system and that was capable of pumping 100 mbps and if you had like gigabyte connection it was feasible like i specified like you can go as high as 400 and that was back in that day this puppy 43 mbps that's the reality of it like they were selling gigabyte per second in labs we have achieved 200 megabytes per second 500 mega 100 gigabyte per second the actual product that people can buy was 43 and that's the theoretical maximum it never reached that fast so what happened and uh, okay this is like a megabyte class department what about uh, gigabyte like if you are working in a corporate environment yes they are there like they actually made a product that can allow you to do that the cost is stupid basically it's, it's don't even ask about it cost is stupid and the reason why people got this delusional idea that you know it's light we're gonna have so much oomph out of it is simply because people thought we're gonna do frequency control now light is a spectrum you stretch that spectrum how you have uh, basically any electromagnetic spectrum you can stretch it out so people thought same way we control radio basically we, we are like okay be in 2 gigahertz be 2.5 gigahertz be it 5 gigahertz and even in those gigahertz it's not like 5.0 done it's like 5.1 4.9 uh you know 5.3 we have a lot of fine tune control on that we can do that with uh, basically light also and light can filter on and off very quickly and if we can do that with multiple spectrum because again there are millions of spectrum in it uh, that's why rainbow does not have like banding issues rainbow is like completely smooth so again let's say even if you can do with five or six on a white light uh, with a normal prism you're gonna get yolo speeds but that cannot be done simply because the way to do that is to have lasers and we utilize that that is the backbone of our internet infrastructure so you will see something like this a uh, block diagram in everywhere where you will if you want to understand is just type wave uh, wave what is that yeah wavelength multiplexer i'm saying the elevation why the heck wavelength multiplexer so let's say you have a big database and you have to transmit a lot of data i'm talking terabytes per second how the heck you gonna do that well you're gonna uh, paralyze as many things as you can so you will have a one basically violet channel that's like let's say dedicated for one transmission you're gonna have blue will dedicated for one receive another green that is dedicated for one transmission yellow another for receive and red for transmission so you can send parallel data back and forth very quickly like 
lightning fast. Now this is a real thing. This is uh, the fundamental backbone of our internet, but it requires fiber. You cannot do that on a light system. And the reason for that, the moment you do that with lighting system, the light color will change. We are susceptible to these these kind of changes. So let's say red started to go down because you're you're not you're flickering the red channel. If the light will start to flicker in color, you will notice it. So. Again, it was like a marketing hype. Nobody actually wanted to do that. People knew this cannot be done, but marketing hype, you know, self-sustained itself and you're like, you know, light has so much frequency. Yes, absolutely, it does. That is why we use it in like, you know, uh, our optical system. That is why internet runs on this, but it is not feasible to do on a wireless system. And then the actual reality happened is like the first question people will ask it, what happens if you turn off the light? Then they're like, yeah, let's just add a infrared system. Now, if you are old as me, aka around 30 years, you must be familiar with mobile phone used to come with infrared, like before Bluetooth was a thing. So it's again, you're back to square one. Why the heck you, after like so much R&D, after so all that, you end up in the same place. Now, why infrared? Simply because ultraviolet is dangerous to human skin and uh, optical spectrum, we will simply see it. You have to go to infrared. That's the only uh, spectrum. So then it becomes a useless thing. It's like, why the heck you want to control the LEDs? Like, why the heck use LED? Just use an infrared transmitter and receiver. Just call it that. And uh, then the, there are hidden details like I'm not sure about that. Like I tried to research that exact detail in this company site. There is a probability that it, uh, the speed, if you have only uh, basically infrared going up and down, it's not very fast. Now again, I can understand that is called stupidity in design. It's like if you have to use infrared as a backup, just use that as a, your primary system. So you don't have to worry about, you don't have to add to your LED field fixture and all that it will become an independent system because you have to have an infrared receiver anyway no matter what you do you have to have infrared receiver might as well just make a complete system yeah it's a infrared input and output but does not sound cool that is why like this the whole idea was like stupid like this is same what your TV, uh, basically tv remote does it's just much faster version of that inherently uh, stupid idea i mean like the spectrum control is awesome and we do that but you can't do that on a visual system because again color will change you bought a white LEDs, it's supposed to be white LEDs. It's not supposed to be like, you know, RGB LEDs inside that they're flickering. So what happened to Wi-Fi? Again, people had issue with Wi-Fi. Again, Wi-Fi association is not filled with dumb people. They also improved the Wi-Fi. So we are talking about in 2020, the newest standard Wi-Fi 6. Again, it's available. It's not something that like, you know, or oh, may come out. It's available right now. You can buy it. There is a good chance your mobile phone already have it. If it's a mid range or higher end phone. So the latest development in uh, basically Wi-Fi happened is like we no longer have omnidirectional system. Basically, you bought this router, it has four antennas and it's no longer like sending signal everywhere. That used to be the old way. So what is happening now is what we call beam forming, aka phase uh, shifting. So think about this, your antenna, four antennas are acting like this. You can make sure the signal only goes like this or like this or like this. Basically, your signal can follow wherever the receiver is. That's the magic of it. And like it used to be developed in 1970s and for uh, ICBM tracking and using radar system. But now the technology is cheap enough that it can be employed in routers and your 5G mobile phone. That's how it uh, the technology works. So we solve the issue of like, you know, signal dropping because it's uh, reinforcing and uh, canceling out everywhere else. You're getting clean signal to where you want to be. Like it's no longer wasting energy. It's like you want signal there. I'm going to send signal there. That's it. Like it literally happens in three dimensional space. So you can have like, oh, mobile there is a laptop there send signal there there's a mobile there send signal there it is done like this technology exists right now then there was uh, always an inherent issue with uh, basically wi-fi system wi-fi was a simplex system basically it used either could send data or receive data it could not do both ethernet can do the both but uh, wi-fi cannot they fixed it now there is a multiplex system however because again is the kind of later to the party so to say so now it can do that send and receive with multiple users simultaneously so your router can be in your home and it can handle at least like any basic wi-fi 6 router can handle at least 12 people using input and output at the same time let that sink in same time and you don't have to be like okay i have to be exactly under the light or like you know when you're going from point a to point b it's like that's the reality of it and working speeds i'm talking like something that you can achieve right now it's one gps again the bandwidth has much more capability the mobile phone right now can only go as high as 800 mbps yes mobile phone on a wi-fi uh, now finally broke through that uh, 400 mbps speed and i have provided the link down below of uh, linus tech tips and uh, unboxing therapy where you can see this speed is something achievable right now 
and uh, improvement in encryption much better like you know because the beam forming you no longer have that like you know okay let's say this tv is receiving signal and uh, somebody's like you know uh, on that side they cannot receive it the beam forming removes that issue and encryption have been improved tremendously and there are many things that like you know uh, latency ping and all that jazz that makes your router is like whoa, whoa 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 what the hell is happening here it's uh, under like you know somebody is piggybacking it can detect that and in enterprise grade they have so many securities that i don't even want to think about it so that's the reality of it like life i was stupid thing is like you have to have uh, basically infrared system might as well use a proper infrared system problem with that is infrared is heat so if they had like let's say 10 watt of uh, infrared lamp it's 10 watt of heater and your skin will directly absorb it so you will feel like it's, you may be like hey my led is 10 watt yeah but it's in optical spectrum the light bounces away from you it does not feel hot but infrared you will feel hot so that was the whole reality of it it's like i'm like genuinely surprised like you have to use infrared might as well make a, hey we have infrared system but does not sound cool just for that reason they are like you know trolling the world is like you know it is led uh, you can use led fixture and led agnostic and all that just i'm like why use the damn infrared you have to have that for a backup make it into your primary system it's like this happens like somebody did not thought things far enough and you're like okay i want that absolute security use this like generally it's cheaper use this and faster and reliable i'm like even in my case like only three mobile phones are connected via wi-fi everything else is ethernet so from my tv both of the tv my desktop and uh, the set of box even though all of them have wi-fi i'm like nope Ethernet. So that's the reality of it. It was like a good idea, sounded cool, but it's just uh, like solar roadway, sounded cool, 100% impractical. So this was my presentation on Li-Fi. What happened about it like after 2015 and after 2016, after 2017, after 2020. So I hope you liked it, learn from it. In that case, please click like button, share it amongst your friends. That will help me a lot. If you didn't like it, didn't enjoy it, I'd urge you to press dislike, press it twice to show me an extra disappointment. Please leave a comment because I reply to all of them. Subscribe, press the bell icon if you're free. And as always, thanks for watching.